So we've seen in previous videos, I've done the text split here. I've used the text join and now we are going to use text before and text after. And I'm going to use this reference here so that anything before this hyphen will be displayed here and over here the text after will be after the hyphen. And you can specify which hyphen it is or which delimiter. So it could be the delimiter, it could be a comma, it could be a space, it could be a character, it could be a letter, you name it. So we're going to take a look at that now. It works in the same way on the Mac or on Windows. We're using Windows here and I'm going to use the insert function to find it. So let me click here. I have my text functions here and I could scroll down to text before. We want to do text after. We're going to search for it so you can see how that is done. I've got links, by the way, to the other two, the text split and the text join, so you can see how they work. So let's click on text before. We want the text, which is here in this column, which is D19. The delimiter is the hyphen. And then I've got some options here as well that I can use. So by default, it's going to find it from the first delimiter here. So if I click down here, you can see already here in the dialog box, it's showing LON because it's before that first hyphen. If I type in two, you can see it's made it LON-F4 from the second one. If I did three, it wouldn't do anything because there isn't anything there. So that's the instance number. So that's how that works. The match mode is whether it's case sensitive. Now in this instance, the um, hyphen is not case sensitive. It's not a case sensitive character, but if you'd used some text with it, you might want it to be a particular character and you might want it to be upper or lower case. So you could type in if it was true or if it was false, okay? So um, you could choose either one of those. The match end, well, when it gets to the end, you don't have to have another delimiter like a, a hyphen in there. It just assumes when it gets to the end of the text, it's the same as having a delimiter in there anyway. And if it doesn't find anything, well, then what? And you could put in here, nothing found. So if I was to type in three here, you'll see that nothing is found because there isn't a third one. So let's click on OK. So I'm now just going to copy that down. Right click when I did the autofill and choose fill without formatting. That way it doesn't mess up my table down the bottom here. Text after, well, that works in pretty much the same sort of way. So let's click on insert function. This time I'm going to type in text after here, click on go. So if you know the function that you're looking for, you can just quickly type it in rather than having to search through. So let's click on OK. Let's go for the text here. Again, that's D19. The delimiter is afterwards. So it's now picking it up from the first one. So it's the first hyphen. It's still working from left to right. If I do two, it's just taking the end bit off. You've got that match mode again for case sensitivity. And then you've got the match end for the same at the end, whether or not you need to have anything because there might be a delimiter in there anyway. So it's just seeing it as the end of text. And if not found, again, we could put in here nothing found. OK, right, let's do that. And now I can go down like that. You can see I didn't do the right click this time with the autofill that's taken that last line off because of the formatting. Let's undo that. Let's right click, fill down, fill without formatting. And this time it hasn't messed it up down there. So there you have it. That is your text before and your text after. You've got the text split and the text join again. So you can create this from this data here. Text joins like concatenate, but a little bit more features in it now. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more. I have plenty of videos on my channel, YouTube channel. Take care.